Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today, we will explore key highlights from the New Testament and the Old Testament. With 21 quiz questions, you will have the opportunity to test your knowledge of significant events, characters, and teachings while also clarifying the profound content and meaning of the Bible. Get ready to deepen your connection between the New and Old Testaments, as well as strengthen your faith through these challenging and meaningful questions. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. In the Book of Nahum, what is Nineveh compared to in Nahum's prophecy? A. A lion's den. B. A harlot. C. A vine. D. A pool of water. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, a lion's den. Explaining in the Bible, Nahum chapter 2 verse 11 in King James Version states, where is the dwelling of the lions and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion, even the old lion, walked and the lions whelp and none made them afraid? Question 2. In the book of Revelation, what was the color of the beast that the prostitute sat on? A. White B. Scarlet colored C. Yellow D. Black. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, scarlet colored. Explaining in the Bible, Revelation chapter 17 verse 3 in King James Version states, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Question 3. In the book of Genesis, who was the first person to be cursed by God in the Bible? A. Eve B. Cain C. Serpent D. Adam. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Serpent. Explaining in the Bible. Genesis chapter 3 verse 14 in King James Version states, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Question 4. In the book of Lamentations, what does the author compare Jerusalem to? A. A widow. B. A bride. C. A child. D. Queen. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. A widow. Explaining in the Bible, Lamentations. Chapter 1, verse 1 in King James Version states, How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How is she become as a widow? She that was great among the nations and princess among the provinces, how is she become tributary? Question 5. In the book of Job, what did Job's wife suggest he do after all his suffering? A. Pray for healing. B. Seek advice from his friends. C. Offer sacrifices. D. Curse God and die. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter D, curse God and die, explaining in the Bible. Job chapter 2 verse 8, 9 in King James Version states, And he took him a potsherd to scrape himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Question 6. In Isaiah's prophecy, what lower will bloom in the desert? A. Rose B. Tulip Cease. Almond Blossom D. Lily You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Rose, explaining in the Bible, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 1. 2 in King James Version states, The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Question 7. In the book of Matthew, what tree did Jesus curse for not bearing fruit? A. Our olive. B. Sycamore. C. Palm. D. Fig tree. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, fig tree, explaining in the Bible. Matthew chapter 21 verse 19 in King James Version states, And when he saw a fig tree in the way he came to it, and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. Question 8. In the book of Genesis, who was the first person to offer sacrifices of firstborns in the Bible? A. Abel B. Cain C. Noah D. Adam You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Abel, explaining in the Bible, Genesis chapter 4, verse 3. 4 in King James Version states, And in process of time it came to pass, that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Question 9. In the book of Revelation, how many crops of fruit did the tree of life bear? A. 12 B. 36 C. 40 80 D. 24 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, 12, explaining in the Bible. Revelation chapter 22 verse 2 in King James Version states, In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Question 10. In the second book of Peter, what are believers supposed to add to their faith? A. Virtue B. Patience C. Knowledge D. All of the above You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter D. All of the above, explaining in the Bible, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 5, 7 in King James Version states, And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. In the book of John, who was the father-in-law of Caliphas the high priest? A. Gamaliel B. Nicodemus C. Zechariah D. Annas You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, Annas, explaining in the Bible, John chapter 18, verse 12. 13 in King James Version states, Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him and led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. Question 12. In the book of Genesis, who was the first person to make a covenant with God? A. Abraham B. Isaac C. Noah and his sons D. Adam You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Noah and his sons, explaining in the Bible, Genesis chapter 9, verse 8. 9 in King James Version states, And God spoke unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. Question 13. In the book of Galatians, Paul rebukes Peter for what reason? A. He was to be blamed. B. For not believing in Jesus. C. For doubting the resurrection. D. For preaching another gospel. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. He was to be blamed. Explaining in the Bible, Galatians chapter 2 verse 11 in King James Version states, But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. Question 14. In the book of Titus, what should believers be ready for? A. Preaching B. Teaching C. Worship D. Every good work. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Every good work. Explaining in the Bible, Titus chapter 3 verse 1 in King James Version states, Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work. Question 15. In the Fistert Book of Peter, believers should be sober and vigilant because who is seeking to devour them? A. To false prophets. B. The Pharisees. C. The devil. D. The world. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the devil, explaining in the Bible. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 in King James Version states, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you, 
Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Question 16. In the book of Hebrews, what is impossible without faith? A. To understand the scriptures. B. To receive the Holy Spirit. C. To please God. D. To be saved. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, to please God, explaining in the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 in King James Version states, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Question 17. In the book of John, how long did the Jews tell Jesus it took to build the temple? A. 18 years B. 46 years C. 20 years D. 14 years You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, 46 years. Explaining in the Bible, John chapter 2, verse 19. 20 in King James Version states, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? Question 18. In the book of Jude, what should believers do to keep themselves in the love of God? A. Fast regularly. B. Give to the poor. C. Study the scriptures. D. Pray in the Holy Spirit. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Explaining in the Bible, Jude chapter 1, verse 20. 21 in King James Version states, But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Question 19. What was special about Jesus' mother? A. She was a prophetess. B. She loved God. C. She was a virgin. D. She was beautiful. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. She was a virgin, explaining in the Bible. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, verse 23 in King James Version states, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. Question 20. To who did Jesus say, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? A. The Pharisees. B. The disciples. C. Judas Iscariot. D. Mary and Joseph. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter B, the disciples, explaining in the Bible. Matthew chapter 8, verse 25, 26 in King James Version states, And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Question 21. In the book of Nehemiah, what tree's branches were used to cover the altar in the Feast of Tabernacles? A. Cedar B. Olive C. Palm D. Pine You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, olive. Explaining in the Bible, Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 15 in King James Version states, And that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities and in Jerusalem, saying, Go forth unto the mount and fetch olive branches and pine branches and myrtle branches and palm branches and branches of thick trees to make booths as it is written. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye, and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.